Morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to the Daily Dose of Success God's Way. This is Erin Harrigan, your Hustle with Heart and Health coach, helping entrepreneurs align results to God's truth and helping everyone attain results for total health with Arbonne. I just got to give a shout out to uh, one of my clients who just started her Arbonne 30 journey uh, two days ago already. Day one was Monday, and she said she's already sleeping better. So you guys, that sleep part is just as much a part of how we show up as God-centered entrepreneurs as anything else. So shout out, Shannon. I just wanted to say that for you this morning. So this morning's topic is surround sound. So if you missed the weekly dose live on Monday night, you can always see that in our Success God's Way community, just like you can always see all the previous episodes and also follow previous episodes of Weekly Dose through the Hustle with Heart podcast. So get on over to iTunes or your favorite uh, uh, podcast channel and make sure you subscribe. But I talked about hearing from God, and the topic was, do you hear what I hear? And um, then the funny thing was, I think I told you yesterday, I opened my Gideon Bible study and the section I was reading was um, similarly titled. So, you know, that's one of those moments where it is confirmation of what you're doing in alignment with the Lord. So today I was reading in Isaiah. And what I can tell you is that next Monday's weekly dose episode will be all about God's graciousness. And we're digging into Isaiah 30 and just determined that this idea of God's graciousness and the adventures of obedience was the next topic that I felt really strongly we needed to talk about. But this morning I'm coming to you with surround sound because God is always surrounding us with his message whether as i talked about the other day it's through someone's post on social media or something we read or something we hear or a song or a conversation we're having with someone but this comes from um isaiah 30 21 which says your ears shall hear a word behind you saying this is the way walk in it whenever you turn to the right hand or whenever you turn to the left. And that to me, I imagine sort of this surround sound where God's kind of over here or then he's over there or then we're hearing it from here or a friend or on the radio or whatever. And the thing is, is that God wants to give us direction. The question is, are we opening ourselves up to hear it? And more importantly, are we willing to be obedient and following it? And so what Dr. Charles Stanley says in his commentary, and this is from his Life Principles Bible, which you know is my go-to, as you can see on my bookmarks, and you've seen me post some highlights. He says, the Lord promises to lead and guide his people. He doesn't make it difficult for us to find him and his will. On the contrary, God will move heaven and earth to show us his will if necessary. If we really want to do his will, he promises to make it clear to us. Now, I don't know about you, but sometimes I feel like I'm going, wait, did, did I hear you say that? Did you tell me to go that direction? Did I hear you wrong? I was having a conversation with a good friend of mine yesterday, and she said, I started going this way in business, but then I think five years later, was that me saying that or was that God? And I just reassured her that, you know, God puts this business vehicle in our life sometimes for a reason, a season, or excuse me, a lifetime. And that's not ours to determine. Ours is simply to be obedient. And then he will shift us like a GPS recalculating. But it's the surround sound of hearing him and, and watching for the opportunities to hear him that becomes so important as God-centered entrepreneurs. Because the world is noisy. We are inundated with that noise. We have been for our whole life. We are inundated with what the definition of success is from the world's standpoint. So we have to get quiet so that we can hear and we have to get focused so that we can see where God is showing up with his message. And so therefore, we really do need to turn on our Dolby surround sound so that we can watch and listen and feel what God is saying to us and where he wants us to go in our message, in, in our message and in our business. So. I would love to hear how this resonates with you. Get down below and let me know in the comments. Get on over to Success God's Way. It's a community of like-minded entrepreneurs lifting each other up as we build businesses that honor God and serve his people. And it's Welcome Wednesday, so you want to be over there so we can welcome you. And if you have not already subscribed to my podcast, to my blog, 
please get over to AaronHarrigan.com and do that. Leave me a review on iTunes, etc. And if I can serve you in your health and wellness so that you're showing up with the energy and the stamina and the clarity that you need to, to walk in the center of God's will for your business, I'd love to help you through Arbonne. And if I can be your ally and your coach in this pursuit of success God's way to equip you to hustle with heart, I would love to have a conversation about being your coach. So have a fantastic Wednesday. By the way, fun fact, um, you know the Hump Day, Geico Hump Day commercials? I did not realize that that voice is the actor who plays Toby on This Is Us. And by the way, I believe that that actor who plays Toby was also in Mean Girls. What? There's some trivia for you today. All right, guys, have a great Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow.